Bats are here. The Hurricanes are here. The band is here. This and is welcome here. to Hoosick Valley High School for a major Division Eight. Kickoff is next. Football matchup between the Lee Lauer Cats and the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Mori, alongside of my analyst Don Wright and our statistician Nick Mori. What are you driving? What are you driving? Ready for some outstanding high school football between these two outstanding teams. And Don, this is a big one here in Berkshire County and Mass football as Hoosick Valley comes into this game with a record of five and four and one. And they are the number one ranked team in Division Eight in Massachusetts and Lee with a record of four and two. They are number seven. So this is a big game in terms of seedings and play with a lot of playoff implications. It is. It's, uh, it's turned itself into one of the big rivalries here in Berkshire County in the last several years. Not sure the last time these two teams played where something wasn't on the line. Um, probably one of the more memorable games is the uh, few years ago, the uh, Hoosick League game uh, for the Western Mass semifinals that was played at Williams College, if you remember that day. I do. And that was a dandy. And coming into this one, they've got the captains uh, at the center of the field. Uh, Lee is a team that's pretty diverse. Don, they will throw and run the ball. They're led by their quarterback, Hayden Shook. Uh, he will throw the ball and has been an accurate passer this year for Hoosick Valley. Of course, they have that uh, three-headed monster with the running backs. Uh, that have been very successful for them this year. They have. I always had the opportunity to watch a little bit of the uh, Lee-East Hampton game, and as you said, Lee likes to air it out. Um, and so so it's going to be an interesting matchup for this Hoosick defense. And again, the Hoosick offense, uh, as always, centered around that running game. If I, if I could ask you all now to please rise. And we're going to pause now for the playing of our national anthem by the Hoosick Valley Marching Band. And we're just about ready for the opening kickoff here this afternoon. Lee and Hoosick Valley. Big playoff implications on the line. And Don, a beautiful ceremony before we got on the air here at Hoosick Valley as they honored three outstanding coaches in this football program from years gone by. Of course, Joe Doyle, Jim Fassel, and Joe Al Carroll, all three had a tremendous impact on this program. Oh, just incredible. Uh, I think been around since the, what, the mid-60s, and um, as, as Jeff Snoonian mentioned earlier, the, the amount of kids that they've uh, had some influence over over the years is just incredible. Here we go. All right, we're ready now for the opening kickoff. And it will be Caleb Harrington doing the kicking for Hoosick Valley, receiving for uh, Lee. 
and an end over end kick picked off there by number seven, Tyler Bartini. And Bartini will bring it back uh, to the 41 yard line where it will be Lee's ball first and 10 here in the opening moments of this big Division 8 and Berkshire County matchup between Lee and Hoosick Valley. Oh, nice return, starting the ball at the 41. Uh, tackled on that one up by, um, by I think Trumbull and uh, Mucci. Hayden Shook under center for Lee. He's going to give the ball right up the middle, and there's running room. Oh, a touchdown saving tackle. Elliot Winston for Lee. He. Good for about 30. Shoestring tackle by Carson Mesworth. Carson Mesor with the shoestring tackle. Don saved that touchdown. But a 30 yard run for Tyler Winston right off the get go. So Lee on the move here. First and 10 from the Hoosick 30. And Mesor had to come out because he lost his helmet on that play. And they give again to Winston. This time he's going to bull ahead for about five yards. And on the tackle in the middle there for Hoosick Valley was number 57, John Liebenau. Mesmer back into the game, Don. Got that equipment situation squared away. So right off the get-go, the Wildcats moving the ball well here. Yeah, they've, uh, they've hit him with two big plays up the gut. Uh, sitting here at second and five. Again, shook under center. And some movement there. Gets the ball outside to Winston, who's going to be have enough for the first down, it looks like. Yes, it is. And he's going to be down to the 18-yard line of Hoosick Valley. And Lee coming out here, firing on all cylinders, Don. And that one, he had a quick pitch with a couple of linemen out in front of him and uh, just uh, picked up the first picks, picks up the first down on that one. Now in the shotgun. Man in motion. Shook. Quick throw. Slows it out into the flat. That pass is complete to number 10, Cam Freeman. And Freeman down near the first down. And it might be enough. We're going to see here. It is. And it will be down to the eight yard line and it's gonna be first and goal for Lee here. Opening moments of this ball game. Lee took the opening kickoff, returned it to their own 41 and just like that, they are down on the Hoosick Valley eight yard line and they are knocking on the door here. And this time, and it's gonna go in for the touchdown. Cam Freeman. Cam Freeman, an eight-yard touchdown run for Freeman, and Lee is on the board first here, drawing first blood. Uh, they're just right now. They're just owning it up front. Uh, it was uh, inside the ten, and I'm not sure he got touched until about the three-yard line. 9:32 to go here in the first quarter, and Lee. Drawing first blood now, it will go for the extra point, doing the kicking for the Wildcats. The kick is up, and it is good. Wildcat extra point is good. Well done there. And with 9.32 to go here in this opening quarter of play, just like that, Lee High School is on the board. Seven to nothing, and that was an impressive series to open this game down. Real impressive, and, and again, they own things up front. Um, games are won and lost up front in the uh, trenches there, and um, who's going to have to make some adjustments going forward here? And Elliot Winston already with 42 yards rushing on that first series. Yeah, we, we got to an answer and then step back. And this Lee Wildcat team, well coached. Yeah. 
That's Coach Thompson, who Keep played at Lee and uh, went on played ball at AIC. Um, does a fantastic job year in and year out. And here's an onside kick. It's an onside kick, and it's going to be covered up. Look like who's by who's it looks like they recovered it. Caleb Perry. And they did, but boy, I'll tell you, that was number twelve, Caleb Nice onside kick execution there by Lee. Music Valley recovers. They're gonna take over first and ten on their own forty four yard line. Well great starting position. Similar to Lee's uh, first drive. And it's Susick Valley Hurricane squad here. They're pulling no punches, I'll tell you that. Mezor under center. A lot of movement up front, tight formation for Hoosick Valley. And the pitch is wide to Frank Field. Field stays on his feet and number eleven Frank Field. Gonna pick up maybe maybe two yards on the play. We'll call it two yards, second and eight. A lot of movement there prior to that snap. So it'll be a second down and eight for Hoosick Valley. And we're gonna see how they respond. They've been punched right in the nose here in the early part of this game. Beautiful day here at Hoosick Valley. Beautiful day for high school football. Mesoir in Sweet Wildcat. And it gives off to number three. It looks like he's gonna turn a corner and he will. All the way. Oh. And knocked out. Down at the six yard line. Kastner. And that was a touchdown saving tackle there by number seven for, for Lee Tyler Bartini. But. Yeah, that, was, that was a jet sweep to the right side. They brought Kastner into a 50 yard run there for Kastner. And like I said, Caster came into jet, in jet motion, took the quick pitch from the quarterback, and uh, they had the numbers on the outside. Sean Kastner wearing number two here today. And the snap is fumbled for the, and it's going to be recovered by Mesoir, and it'll bring up now second and goal. They're going to lose, they're going to lose a couple of yards on the play. Second down and goal from the nine. And to spot that ball back at about the seven yard line. So it'll be second and goal from the seven for Hoosick Valley. Lee marched right down the field in her opening possession and scored quickly, and Hoosick Valley comes right back now. Bush and Kastner in the backfield for the Hurricanes. Field in motion. The pitch is wide to Caster. He looked to try to cut it up, but no, an outstanding open field tackle there by number 15, Dylan Ely. Dylan Ely, great open field tackle there. Yeah, it looked like he had the edge there, and uh, he got a really good block on the edge by Caleb Harrington. Uh, looked like he tried to cut it up. I think, I think if he kept going out, he would have been uh, in the end zone on that one. Yeah, he picked up about a yard on the play, so Make it third and goal from the six yard line. These two outstanding Division 8 teams going at it here this afternoon at Hoosick Valley. And to give it is to Castor. He's going to try to cut it up and another great open field tackle there. This time by Tyler Bartini, who came up. And Bartini looked like it looked like Kastner was going to have a shot at the end zone there, if not for that tackle by Bartini, Don. Right. Yeah, great, great tackle. Again, the jet sweep has been successful for him. Uh, Lee's got a key on uh, off that play. You got a key on. Mesmore okay. Keeping it. Fourth and goal now from the two. And a quarterback sneak by Mesmore off tackle. He's in for the touchdown. Hurricane touchdown. Great push by the right side of that offensive line. Yeah, he ducked down in beside, in behind that right side. Got behind Malloy, Malloyce. Malloyce sure. Malois and, and Malloy for Hoosick Valley. Big number 65, Mitch Malloy. And Kobe Malloy, number 88 from the tight end offensive line position. 
And Bucci, Bucci's at the right guard, so those three, great job moving that defensive line back. Now for the two-point conversion. And Mesro keeps it himself, goes ahead and scores it. And the two-point conversion is good, and so it's 6.20 now to go in the first quarter. Huzik Valley takes the lead, 8-7. to seven. And right off the bat here, Don, both these teams with a lot of offensive fireworks. Oh, great response. Uh, both defenses got to make some changes here. Um, adjustments, I should say, and uh, um, settle down a little bit. But yeah, gr great response from Music Valley. Band is sounding sharp. You know, Lee's coming off a heartbreaker last week. Uh, it kind of had a thick they were going to come out firing. So, yeah, they lost a, a heartbreaker to East Hampton, 20 to 19. They had a shot to win that game, came up a little short. So again, now Harrington will do the kicking. For Ozick Valley and a squibber. Bartini chased back to his 18 yard line, picks it up. Shifty move there, and he's brought down by Frank Field at about the 25 yard line. So that's where Lee will take over for their second possession. Well, great kick by Caleb Harrington, um, getting it down in the corner there, and um, coverage by about six Hurricanes. Sets them up at, uh, at the 25. And one of the things, again, we've talked about uh, throughout the season, Dan, who's valued, not with a lot of numbers, and health is a key for them. Should we stay healthy? Well, who's at about, what, 20 players? Lee's probably at about mid-20s. Uh, you know, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the new fact of life in Berkshire County football. Okay, now the middle's got to toughen up there. Uh, Bartini now is barking out the signals. He's going to keep option. it himself with the option, and it's and it is snuffed out there. Bartini running the option. First player there was Mucci for Husik Valley. Jake Mucci, number fifty-two, Mucci and slowed the play up, and then John Levin out. Finished it off, so it's going to be a pickup of about a yard there for Lee. It brings up a second and nine for the Wildcats here. Yeah, who's a kid that defended well, and uh, uh, big tackle Libano got out there to assist, but they, they had the pitch man covered and obviously the quarterback covered by, uh, by Mucci. Maybe they run. And Don Hayden Shook uh, started the game at quarterback for Lee, and Right now we're seeing Bartini for the Wildcats, Tyler Bartini, the sophomore. And Bartini Option. takes the ball. Oh, he's going to gonna look to throw it, and he's got a receiver down the sideline. You're going to get caught. And there's a flag down the on the play. Yeah, Not yet. down there by Bush. Look, he had Bush holding him. We'll wait to see here. And it will. It'll be defensive holding on the Hurricanes, and that will give Lee the first down, I believe. Well, not a bad play on his part. It's probably a better decision because he was beat. Um, I mean, obviously, they give him a first down, but could have been much worse. They'll march it off 10 yards. It will be enough for the first down. And he'll march that ball that will give the Wildcats a first down. out to the 36-yard line. From their own Make it the 37-yard line where it's first and 10 for Lee. Yeah, I thought it was five and a first down. Maybe you have the option. Mm -hmm. And Bartini, again, going to keep it. Looks to go wide. And this time much. he is no room for Bartini there. brought down on the outside there by, once again, it looked like it was keep number 23. Aaron Bush. Actually, that was to be uh, defensive end Colby Veloisen on that, too. All right. Bush and uh, it's a loss of three on the play. Back to the 35-yard line of Lee, and it'll bring up a third now. Third and second down. I'm sorry, second, second and 12. 
Loss of two on the play, second down as well. well they got the shook the at the quarterback position. He appeared to be more of the thrower of the two quarterbacks. Right, know. he's that's right, Don. Right now he's back. Get at trips the quarterback over here. position. Bartini is in motion for Lee. And two men in motion that time. That's going to be a five yard penalty against Lee. Uh, that's going to push him back another five yards. Brings up a long second and 17. Wizzick Valley comes into this one, ranked number one in Division A in Massachusetts. And Lee, number seven. Big game for both teams. And the give is to Bartini. He's going to run it ahead. I'm sorry, that wasn't Bartini. That was, uh, no, that was number 10 for Cam Freeman. Number 65, senior, Mitch Malloy on the tackle. Well, he had a lot of success on that first series with Winston. He's he's currently on the sideline. It doesn't look like he's injured, but uh, like I said, that first series, he had about 45 yards rushing up the gut. Third and 13 now for Lee here. Three minutes to go in this first quarter. Eight to seven, Hozik. Watch the seam, watch Martini the seam. Martini in motion. They're gonna swing the ball into the flat, and great tackle there by Kastner, who came up on the play to hit number 15, Dylan Lealy. Kastner reads it the whole way. Fourth down. And it's a punting situation now for the Wildcats. It's a great way to respond by this defense. Going forward, I, I, Lee sets this play up. Uh, as they did it last week where they threw that screen a couple times and then uh, number 89 ends up going right down the seam against East Hampton he was wide open went for about a 60 yard touchdown so something to be watching out for going forward here alright lead the back to punt now squib kick and it's going to roll ahead and be called dead at the Hoosick Valley 45 yard line Wildcat punt is down where Hoosick Valley will take over on their second possession. Leading this one eight to seven. And as we talked about, just a little bit about the playoff and ranking implications of this one down. The first 16 teams will make the statewide playoff. And looks like Hoosick Valley's got a pretty good shot uh, of being in there no matter what happens here today. Lee, a little bit less certain. They'd like to win here. They would really vault them up and of course, the first eight teams will get a home game in the first round, so that's always important. Okay, Castor in motion, cuts it up, oh, got a little geez. bit of running room, and puts his head down, and he's eight yards on first down. Gonna pick up about eight yards on the play. Tackled by Freeman and Bartini. On the tackle was Tyler Bartini and Cam Freeman. Low center of gravity when he's running. He's, he's not a big bat, but I'll tell you what, he doesn't give you much to hit. Um, Ball down to the Lee 47 yard line where it'll be second down and two. Potential passing situation here for Uzik Valley. And Mezwar in the shotgun. There's a little confusion. Familiar here. spot for him. And the give is to Bush, and Bush will move ahead for the first down. Nice hard run on the interior there by Bush. It's about five yard pickup. So it's a first and 10 for Huzik down to the Lee 43 yard line. And now, about a minute to go here in this first quarter of play. And both teams now starting to settle down. It's a good game. So blitz up the middle here. And this one is to Kastner again. He's got some running room and he's going to bring the ball down inside the 35 yard line of Lee. That's enough 
more than enough for the first down, and they're going to spot this one at the 32-yard line of Lee. So Husik Valley on the move here. And their second possession of this ball game. Well, who's it caught Lee in a blitz, a middle linebacker blitz right after the gut, and looks like they picked him up and uh, went off tackle and uh, got a great gainer there. And so, as, as usually happens, this elite, defense against Huzik, they slowly start moving up to 8 and 10 in the box. And Bush breaks it right up the middle. Behind that big Huzik Valley offensive line. And he's going to have about four yards on the carry. That'll be the first quarter. That'll be the last play and that's going to do it for the first quarter of play here at Hoosick Valley. And the score after one, it's Hoosick Valley eight and Lee seven. And a game that so far has featured some big plays by both teams on the offensive side of the ball, Don. Yeah, uh, you know, just hard running. Uh, both defenses, I think, have settled down a little bit. Um, you know, Lee had that opportunity for that. Looked like uh, it was going to be a deep pass. And uh, again, hard to, hard to say. Great play when you cause a penalty, but um, one of the biggest plays of this first quarter was Aaron Bush's choice to uh, hold the receiver because if he didn't, it might be 14 to 8 at this time. And as you indicated, that, <laughs> that probably was a good penalty. Thursday night at Renfrew Field. Yeah, I mean, it looked here that he was at least uh, three to five yards beyond him, so. I also believe it was senior night. And Usyk Valley finishes its regular season next week uh, against Commerce. And they will wait to see where and when they play if they can make these playoffs. Said they're number one right now, but they need they need at least one of the next two games. I would say that absolutely, yeah. And I, I think uh, for Lee, um, this game is huge for them. Um, I mean, if they pull this off, uh, their power points go up and their opponents' power points go up. So actually, go down. So. Yeah. All right, first, second down and five for Husik Valley. We start the second quarter of play. Give us to Kastner. He's got some running room over that right side. And he's going to be very near first down. And that is good enough for a hurricane. And he's got enough for first the down. first down. And now that uh, Husik Valley is operating on that tight war formation. Once again, the offensive line for about the hundredth year in a row for Adams and Music Valley football, paving the way. So it's first and 10 now at the 21 yard line of Lee. Little tackle over here, unbalanced on the left side. Unbalanced line to the left and there's Field again out of the backfield. Charging ahead and hard run by Frank Field there. Frank Field. And he's gonna pick up, it looks like, Eight yards on the run. The shadow of the first down marker. We'll call it nine. Second down and one. And another weapon in that backfield. He was at tight end and slot earlier this year. And uh, now he's in that backfield. Right. We haven't seen a lot of field in the backfield. Of course, injured in the first game. Injured knee. But he's, he's playing today. And he's running out of that backfield. Along with Bush and Kastner. And the give is to field again. He's going to break one tackle and carry another tackler ahead. He's inside the 10 yard line where it'll be a, another Hoosick Valley first down. They are first and goal now uh, from the. This, they're going to the mark it at the 7 yard line. A little change up. Uh, Kastner and, and Bush are smaller, quicker backs, and, and Field gives you a little bit of a bigger bruiser back there. So and he runs hard, no doubt about that. This time, Bush and Caster in the eye behind Mesworth that gives to Caster over that left side, and he Caster looks like he got it up for the, the touchdown. touchdown he did. And great blocking up front. 
by the left side of that line this time. Sean Castor with the touchdown. And Hoosick Valley now leads it here 14 to 7, pending the two point conversion. And here we go now. And now it's unbalanced to, to the right side. There's a couple I'm interested in because I'm a lunatic, but like the Iowa State Oklahoma. Unbalanced State. formation. Give it to Castor, and he's going to drive it ahead he's for the he's conversion. In. He's in. Took a little bit of time for in the, first half. the referee to signal it, but he made it. And now Hoosick Valley leads it 16 to 7. Those are big two point conversions, Dan. Enormous. Now you, you scored twice, uh, at least scored once, but you got a, you got a, a two score difference here. So absolutely huge. So with 10 minutes to go exactly in the second quarter, Hoosick Valley has a 16 to 7 lead. Badat Brothers, Brahman Farms, the Zimba family, Waterman Excavating, Greylock Federal Credit Union. And Hoosick hasn't even gone to the air yet. Um, no, they haven't. And Laborers Local Union number. They've had the ball twice and scored twice. After giving up on opening touchdown to Lee on their first possession. The chop Shop. Also, Grand Champ Law Offices. Oh, here it is. The kick now. Again, Harrington doing the booting. Yes, that's not great. Nice. Another game I'm interested in. Freeman picks it up down at the 20-yard line, and he's going to get ahead to about the 26. Kick taken by Cam, Cam Freeman. So Freeman with a short return there. Good coverage by Hoosick Valley, and Lee will take over now. Well, kicking game's a huge weapon here. I mean, you're, it, first couple series, both teams started about the 45-yard line. Um, last two series for Lee, they've started back at their 25, 26-yard line. A huge disadvantage. Great job by Caleb Harrington. That's it for game time right now. Get by Shook up the middle to Freeman. Freeman. Give us Freeman. ahead. He's got a nice run there, Don. He picks up about five yards on that run. Good push by that Lee offensive line up front. Yeah, they, they've had a lot of success success running up the middle there. Uh, that play. Uh, stuff, uh, stuffed after a five-yard gain by Mitch Malloy, defensive tackle. Yeah, rather than win than lose. Yeah. So it's a second down, and we'll make it a, a, a long, long. We'll make it a long four yards here for Lee. A wishbone look. And Shook gives it right again, right up the middle. Nothing there this time. Handoff. Stacked up there in the middle by Malloy and Mucci. Number 55, Dominic Green. He was there. All right, now that's Griff. That's Griff. That's Griffin Mucci. Was wearing number 55 today. Nice stop there by Griffin. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like yes. Yeah. They were unstoppable. And Griffin, just a freshman, but did a nice job there in the middle for Hoosick Valley. Third down, third and three. Big third down play here. And there is a pass to oh. Shook who threw it out into the flat. Is incomplete, intended for number 89. That, that, was, in, that was intended for number 89, Lucas Tisdale. And brings up now fourth down, funny situation for Lee. Well designed play, looked like he, he, if he caught it, he would have had it, had some trouble getting that ball off. Six even. Six even. Good day. Six even. Huge play here for Lee, it's fourth down and two. 
Uh, question here whether Lee's going to go for it. it. Looks like they might. Obviously, watch it for the long count. If you're the who's at front. Score, score again. All of a sudden, it's it's thirty to seven. Yeah, it can get real out of reach here quickly. So I think I understand why they're going for it. And after that first one, I don't think they're shook under center. Man in motion is Bartini. Oh, well, they almost drew Uzik Valley offline, and now there's flags drawn. We'll see here whether there was a motion or. Play again. What are they trying? I think I bet you were. They're trying to get off. I'm sure they were, but they could have. He jumped. In. There could have been some encroachment, and that might be the call here, Don. There was movement by the defensive front of Uzik Valley. Just don't know what they're conferencing right now. Oh. Delay a game. Delay a game. Delay a game. Who knew he told the flag? Lee. So that marks off five yard penalty here. Goes from fourth and two to fourth and seven. Seeing some great food come out of concessions. I'll give you the Snoonian dish of the day. <sighs> so you got Carson Mac Mezwar back deep for Huzik on this punt. Oh, yes. He's a danger every time he touches the ball. That's back deep. It's going to be, well, hold on. And a punt is away. Spiraling kick. And it's going to go roll down out oh, at about the 39-yard line of Hoosick Valley. That's a nice punt. Hoosick Valley 39. A little bit of wind here. That was punted yeah. into the wind. I would go to concessions. So... I would either get mac and cheese and Jeff's pie. I think most importantly on that punt, he kept away from Mezwar, kicked it to the sideline, and got no return. Off of the apple crisp and sprinkle it on top of it. 8.05 to the go here yeah, in the first and half. Salty thing going on. And you can still eat this is a crisp. big big possession for, deep, big, big defensive possession for Lee here. Down, they need to stop Huzik Valley. They, they got they to prove they can stop him. I don't think if Huzik's had the ball twice, it scored twice. So they got to... Uh, Pressure is on their defense here. And to give up the middle to Bush. And Inside handoff to Bush. And Aaron Bush will have a pickup of five on the play for Ozick Valley. Look like Cam Freeman. Beautiful, beautiful day here. And Uzik Valley, fall day for football in the mid 50s. Sun is out. A little bit of a breeze. There's always a breeze up here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. There are many days when it's the wind's not blowing up here. All right, timeout on the field now. Timeout, Lee. And Lee's going to take the timeout here. And I'm sure Coach Thompson knows how big a defensive series this is for his Wildcats. Uh, they trail here 16 to seven. He does not want to give up another score going into halftime, that's for sure. No, and, and the other thing to think about is if you're Lee is, who's getting the ball in the second half? So um, you, you need a change of possession here. Someone needs to make a big play, a big stop, and uh, get Lee back the ball. And down again, just running down the MIAA power rankings for Division 8. Of course, as we indicated, number one is the Valley with a record of 5-1. and one. Uh, The second ranked team is where they are undefeated. Powell High School is in the number three position, and... Palmer High School is number four right now. Lee, as we indicated, is number seven. And, of course, if the season ended today, they would get a home game in the playoffs. So I, th I think what's most shocking to me on that is having three of the top four schools from Western Mass. Right. Um, and then four of the top seven. Okay, they give this time. Oh, nice the middle bounce. bounces outside. Bush. Got a little bit of running room now to the outside, and he's going to be brought down at the lead 45-yard line, but he's got enough for a first bar 
First down, Tyler Bartini on the tackle, number seven for the Wildcats. That's good enough yeah, they, had him, they had him stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. He bounced it out and uh, picks up the first down. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, this, this mac and cheese is killing me. First and ten for Usyk Valley. Kastner in motion. He's going to get the handoff. Try to cut it back up the middle. He does, and he picks up another six yards. He gets it down inside the Lee 40-yard line, down to the 39. Ritson brings up a second down and four, and Usyk Valley methodically moving the ball here against this Wildcat defense. Little trips out to the right. Trips is right. We've got Frank Field, Harrington. I can't get the other number, and they're going to give it to keep it to Mesoir, and he's tripped up. Mesoir nice open team. field tackle there again by Bartini. He's had some very, very nice defensive plays for Lee this afternoon. Lose one. We'll call it third down. Yeah, that was a great play on the on the edge there. On Got him by the shoestring. <laughs> Brings up a third and three. Huge play here for Lee. And we'll have a, at halftime, we'll have a, right, a rundown of all the stats, stats by our statistician, Nick Morey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Nick. Unbalanced. And... There's Bush. He's going to cut it back into the middle, and it's going to be. Close. Looks like he's got enough for the first down. Yeah, who's just gone to that unbalanced on the, line? On oh, the tackle was Mason Millick. Who's it, Valley? Four. First down. So Millick on the tackle for Lee. First down. First and ten from the Lee 34 here. 5.23 to go in this first half. Hoosick Valley leads it 16-7. And to Bush again. Aaron Bush surging behind that right side. And this, this offensive line is getting a nice push here for Hoosick Valley, Don. Yeah, they're getting five, six yards at an attempt. Um, and keeping most of the stuff lately between the tackles. Gain of eight in the play, second down and two. I'm not sure if and Aaron Bush getting a healthy dose of the carries here this afternoon for Hoosick Valley. Well, Hoosick Valley with a stable of fine running backs. Makes it difficult to defend. Mezwar back again in that shotgun. And a give to Kastner. Castor is going to surge ahead. Looks like he's got enough for the first down. And he'll have enough for a first down. Before he was brought down on the play. On the tackle was Sean Kinney for Lee. Yeah, Huzik's moving the ball at will right now. And um, the other thing they're doing is they're eating up this clock. We're down, I don't know, four minutes here before the half. And, and remember, Huzik does get the ball in the second half. And field in motion in the counter back to Kastner. Breaks a couple tackles and surges ahead very near the first down. Near down to about the 11 yard line. He runs hard. He, he said stays low and runs hard. Picked up eight on that one. And a well designed play there by the Hurricanes. Great to see a contingent they, of Lee fans who made the trip up. And they are continuing. Not only because they're just generally nice people, but also it's Halloween colors. <laughs> and feel the motion. And surging near the goal line Patrick is Mesmore. And they're going to they're going to mark him short, but. Again, Don, just a great surge by the offensive line here for Hoosick Valley. They're, they're kind of controlling the play here. Yeah, he picked up, a, what, about six, seven yards just on a uh, QB keeper up the gut. Can you get me a UMass Florida State score by any chance? So, so you got first, here, first and goal at the, uh, down inside, the, one, the one. inside the one inside the one yard line. Hoosick knocking on the door again here. No reason to do anything under, else than what you just did. Under three minutes to go. 
in this first half. And Mesoir keeps it himself. He was knocked sideways, lunges ahead. He's in for the touchdown. Second effort from Mesoir. Hurricanes touchdown. Carson Mesoir with his second touchdown of the game from about a yard away. And who's like Valley now? Leads it 22 to 7 here with 2.30 to go in this first half. And after that opening drive by the Lee Wildcats, it's been all Hoosick Valley here for the rest of the first half. And Lee had a good surge there up front. Looks like they stopped him, but second effort by Mesoir got him in. And another two-point conversion. Give is to Kastner, and this time he's not going to get there. Big defensive stop in the middle there by Lee. Cam Freeman came up for Lee. And so the score here with 2.30 to go in this first half. It is Hoosick Valley 22 and Lee 7. And Don Lee will get the ball back here one more time in this first half. And they're going to need to do something here to stem this Hoosick Valley momentum. Yeah, well, time shouldn't be an issue. They had two and a half minutes to go, but they do need a response here. Um, again, I stay. The, the uh, who's offense going to be getting that ball back to start that second half? Um, it would be nice for Lee if they could pop one up there. Who goes against the hot dogs in the chili? You don't worry. <laughs> well, I really should bring them up. I, I, I can't attack the girls. They'll come up at halftime. Mr. Daly was on the clock here at, from Lee doing a great job. He just asked us who's going to get the hot dogs at halftime. I think the youngest person in the... Uh, oh. Youngest person. Number one golfer Ian Capiello. There we go. Excellent. All right. End over and kick. Oh, took short kick. And return there by number 41, Elliot Woodston, who had that big run in the first possession. He's got it back near midfield for Lee. And that's a big return, Dan, because that opens up the playbook for Lee here. Yeah, playing with half a field here. With two two twenty six to go. So, ball be spotted at the lead forty nine yard line. Hoosick Valley leads it here, twenty two to seven. But Lee will have a shot here. They got them spread out. Two receivers each side. Yep. And a give the up the middle and kind of a mishand up there to Winston. Well, there's two big guys in the middle, uh, Liebano and, and Malloy. They're going to eat up some blockers. And then that play there uh, looks like second down and nine for the Wildcats. Was Lee in a hurry triple. up offense now. Four wide receivers split. Shook back the pass. Plenty of time. Oh. And he's going to throw it underneath here and just dump it away. Under pressure there by Malloy for Hoosick Valley. But he had plenty of time. Good coverage by that Hoosick Valley defensive backfield. Yeah, got a little bit of pressure from Mitch Malloy. And as you said, great, great coverage. There was no one open. Looking at third and nine. And there's still a minute 56 here. So... Who's it could get their hands back on this ball? And the Hornets are sponsored by. Uh, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah. Minute 56 to go here in the first half. Yeah. Yeah, that could be Third good. and nine for the Wildcats. Shook back the oh, pass, oh, beat oh, under oh, pressure. Pass is, oh, is it intercepted? Oh, picked off. It is by Frank Field. Oh, the ball was knocked around, and Field came down with it, and a turnover gives the Hoosick Valley the ball on the interception. Oh, yeah, great, great pressure by number 88, Kobe Valois, and uh, then a fantastic uh, catch by Field to pick that off. 
So you got a minute 48, and Hoosick's got the ball again. Well, first down now, first and 10 from their own 46 yard line. So. Great, great, great catch by Frank Field. And they got the, they went big on the right side. They got Libano and Malloy. And a motion give on the outside to Castor. He's got room. He's, He's going to cut it up and he might take it. He's going to be run down inside the 10 yard line. Touchdown saving tackle there by Jack Clark. Jack Clark. Oh, great job following his blocks. He kind of just uh, was going. Looked like he was going about half speed, half of that run. That's just, a that's a that's a 50 yard run there for for Sean Castner. Ball will be spot at the eight yard line. First and goal for Hoosick Valley. And there's Castner again. He's going to cut it near the goal line. He's going to be dragged down just short. Down at the one. And Caster. Clock continuing to run here with a minute and 11 to go in this first half. Oh, this is, this is a big turn of events here, Don. It's, Uzik Valley has the opportunity to really tack on another score here late in this first half. QB keep, you think? Tight formation. Triple no, I fumble on the ground. Fumble. Still fumble and picked up. He recovered and he got in. And he got in. And shoves it over the goal line. Touchdown, Hurricane. He fumbled the snap there, but he is able to recover and punches it in for a touchdown. And Hoosick Valley now with a 28 to seven lead here in the closing moments of this first half. With 33 seconds to go. Huge, huge play there for Hoosick Valley. And now we're pending a two point conversion. I know, I know for That is a sad, sad. I'm wearing a giant shirt under this sweatshirt right now, you know. Wow. I have to wear it on Saturdays to give me a little bit of hope for the income upcoming. All right. Time. Give his to Castor, and he is stacked up there in the middle. Great surge by that lead defensive front there. Stops a two-point conversion. And score now after the 33 seconds to go here in this first half is Hoosick Valley 28 and lead seven. Don Lee came out firing on that opening possession and they marched right down the field and scored a touchdown to take the early lead here. But since that time, it has been Wall Hoosick Valley here during this first half and a very, very fine performance by Hoosick Valley as they now have a 28 to seven lead. Yeah, the, the lead defense has not responded. Um, I think who's scored on every every possession they've had. Um, you know, it's early. It's it's going to be halftime here. We we'll make some adjustments. I'm sure at halftime. And Harrington again to do the kick in, and that pick picked up by Freeman. Down at the 30-yard line, he gets it ahead Three near turn. the lead 40 before he's brought down. Trumbull, 25 Trumbull. seconds Trumbull. to go here in this first half. And that may very well. Don't give him free 15. Price, you're gonna kill poor Dr. Bush if you keep See what Hoosick Valley does here against Lee. Lee may be content to just run out the clock here in this first half. And go in and get reassembled. Well, you got Shuck, Chuck's at the quarterback, so that is their, uh, as I said, that from what I saw from the uh, East Tip game, he'd be your throwing quarterback, so. And Shuck throws the pass into the flat. It's complete to Freeman. Got some running room. 
picks it up the outside and gets it over midfield. Four he got it in Be enough for the first down. Hayden yeah, Shook with a swing pass to Freeman. It's first and ten for Lee now. 17 seconds. Well, you're telling your backs, no one behind you. You got to, again, you got to watch watch uh, 89 down the seam. Freeman in motion for Lee. Shook rolls out to his right. Hits Freeman in the flat. The pass is complete for five yards. Number 55, Griffin Mucci. Timeout. Time out on the field by Lee. Nine seconds to go. Nine seconds. And the first. Eleven yards. Yeah. Just tell them the hot dogs are for the clubhouse. Well, this will be the last regular season home game of the year. Hopefully, not the last home game of the year. The fans have been incredible, whether at Renfrew or here. Yeah, give yourself a hand. I see the moms have all sorts of toys Two. down there too. Big slappers. I don't know what you call them. Is that good enough? What is that? Uh, oh, fifth one. There are only four. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, nine seconds left. Time for maybe maybe two plays. I think Lee's got at least one timeout left. Right. So potentially two plays here. And remember, they kick they kick three extra points. So if they can get close, you may see an attempt. Shuck, plenty of time over the middle. Interception. A struggle! Intercepted! They're going to give it. We're going to see what the call is. Then they're going to give it's it to Hoosick Valley. Ball, and that's an interception. Yeah, it was 50 Blake 50. Trumbull. Blake Trumbull with the interception, number 51. And both Trumbull and the Lee receiver were fighting for that football. And it ultimately, Trumbull came away with it and they gave him the interception. Wrestled it away. So there's .7 seconds left here in the first half. Time for one more play. Take a knee. Take a knee. They got the headphones off. Nothing's happening. There you go. Go take a knee. Go take a knee. Good call. How much should you be calling? Right. Yeah, it looks like that's what Hoosick Valley is going to do. They're going to take a knee. That's going to do it for the first half. Now a big one for Hoosick Valley. As they go into the locker room here at halftime, leading this one 28 to 7. And a dominating performance, Don, after Lee came out and scored on its first possession. Who's it? It's been all Hoosick Valley since. Yeah, they, they rifled off 28 straight points after giving up a touchdown on the first series. Uh, looked like we were going to have a high, high scoring game the way things started off, but their defense have settled down. Well, we're going to take a break here now at halftime. We're going to be back with second half action and a recap of the first half in just a moment.
Morris says, your Hoosick Valley High School marching band. I was busy chatting with a fan. <laughs> I forgot to give them the introduction they deserve, but they are amazing. And that was their classic of all classics, Sweet Carolina. I believe they've won the Fall Foliage Parade with that, but you have not. Maybe. You've won so many, Maestro, it's hard to keep track. But everyone knows this next one. Join in YMCA. Sunday, October 3rd, and this year's theme, of course, was games, movies, and takeout. The band will now perform the song they played at the parade from the Marvel movie Captain America. This is the Captain America March. Hit it, maestro! <laughs>
Okay, we're back here at halftime at Hoosick Valley High School with the score. Hoosick Valley 28, Lee 7. And Hoosick Valley had a dominating performance. And with a rundown of the first half statistics, we've got Nick Morey. Nick? Thanks, Tim and Don. Uh, like Tim and Don were saying, the score's 28-7. Lee shot out like a bullet. And um, in the first half, Elliot Winston had 43 yards and was then shut down in the second half. Cam Freeman came in with 28 receiving yards and 17 rushing yards and one touchdown. Omari Smith came in with 16 passing yards, zero rushing yards. On Huzik's side, Carson Meswar has 11 rushing yards and two touchdowns plus a two-point conversion. Frank Field has eight rushing yards plus an interception on defense. Aaron Bush has 47 yards on the ground. Sean Kisner has been absolutely lighting up the scoreboard with 204 yards, two touchdowns, and two-point conversions. And Blake Trumbull also came in with an interception late in the game. Back to you. Thanks, Nick. Uh, and Don, overall, uh, as we commented on a couple times here early on, uh, Hoosick Valley, this lead team came right out of the box and was able to march right down the field and scored first here in this one to take a 7-0 lead, but it's really been all Hoosick Valley since, and they lead it 28-7 as we were just about ready uh, to start the second half of action. Well, that first series for Lee, they went right through that Hoosick defense. And like I said, we were expecting uh, a shootout here, um, uh, the, way they, the way they opened up that, that game. But uh, that Hoosick defense did settle down. Um, we'll see what Coach Thompson has in, in store for the second half. Obviously, you're going to make a few adjustments, uh, try to slow down this Hoosick running game. So the score here at halftime is Hoosick Valley 28 and Lee the 7. Both teams on the sideline getting ready uh, to start this second half of play. Hoosick Valley will have the ball first to start the second half. And we're back here at halftime. Hoosick Valley with the 28 to 7 lead. 24 minutes to play in a big Division 8 matchup between Hoosick Valley and Lee. Huge first half for Hoosick Valley's Sean Kessner with over 200 yards rushing. Huge day. And Don, we talked about this. That Hoosick Valley offensive backfield, a lot of athletes back there. A lot of mm -hmm. athletes, and, and again, you can't go without saying uh, this offensive line has just done a heck of a job all year long, um, and it picked right up where they've left off today. And Lee will kick off to Hoosick Valley. Bush and Kastner deep for Hoosick Valley. And another squib onside kick recovered there by Meswar at the 38-yard line, and that's where Hoosick Valley will take over first and 10 here to start this second half. So again, great field position here, starting off at about the 37. So first and ten for Hoosick Valley. A little difference. I think uh, Lee's come out in a 50 defense here. Uh -oh. oh, nice. Uh -oh. Yeah. The second half goes to Aaron Bush. Aaron Bush. And he will have enough. And he's got to pick up uh, 11 yards on the play. Nice second yeah. effort. Looked like he was stopped about after a two-yard gain, but he uh, broke the tackle and picked up the first down. Yeah. 
And a hard run there. John up the Kastner middle for Mr. Castor again, and he's going to have six. Yeah, about five on the on the play. He runs hard. He's got speed, but he also runs it up in there hard. Now well, brings up a second down and five here for Uzik Valley. Opening moments of this second half of action. So got to tackle over again on balance on the right side. And a give off to that right side. Bush pops it back outside. Aaron Bush, he's going to bring the ball down to inside the 35-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds on the play. That's another who's a valley first down. On the play there for Lee was number 22, Jack Clark. And Dylan Eli. For the Wildcats. Makes it first and 10. Reservoir barking out the signals. And to give to Bush again. He's going to go over that right side and pick up a couple yards before he is tackled on the play by Sean Kinney, number eight, for the Wildcats. We'll call it a three-yard game. We'll make it two. Second and eight. Not the right score. I just hit a button by mistake. No. 28. What is it? 28. 28. Yeah. 28. Seven. Second down and eight. Meswar in the shotgun. Swing Quick pass swing. to Kastner. Well, He's got some room, some, some out good there. outstanding downfield blocking there by Frank Field, Don, who made that play. Yeah, great block on, on the outside there, and uh, looks like Kastner's going to be about a yard short. We'll call it third down and one foot. Yes, Frank Field, talented sophomore. He really stayed with his block there. Third and about a half yard for Zick Valley. And a quarterback oh, sneak by Meswar, and he goes right ahead. He's got to have a nice pick up there. He's going to oh, he might have a First targeting on this one. Flag on the play. Might have been helmet to helmet. Right. He took a pretty good pop there on the tackle. I sports the like lead. Dead ball foul. That's a dead ball foul there. And they'll bring that ball down. It looks like it's going to be marked off. And they're going to spot it at the 10 yard line. So it makes it a first and goal from the 10 yard line for Hoosick Valley. First and goal. And Kastner stays out of his feet, but nice tackle on the outside there. John coming, the right side. coming up on the play for Winston on the tackle. For Lee was Elliot Winston, number 41. Second down and goal from the seven. That's where he scored 28 seven. Second, second down and goal from the Lee six yard line for Hoosick Valley. Field in motion and a mix up there in the backfield. Like and and nothing, it. nothing there for Meswar. He had to keep the ball. It looked like that was a broken no play. play. Third down and goal. No gain, so it's a third and goal now. Let's see if Lee can come up with the stop, get the ball back. Who's a can't kick it? We know they can kick it, so. Could potentially go for a field goal here if they don't get it. 
And the give. He stopped. On the outside was the Bush, but some He's nice deep. defensive stand right. there uh, by, by Lee Winston again. Number 41, Elliot Winston. For Lee. The ball going to spot goal. that down at the uh, three-yard three line. So another big defensive play coming up here for Lee. They have to stop Huzik Valley here. Huzik's taking a timeout. And now there's a timeout on the field. Timeout, Huzik. Huzik Valley is going to talk this one over. Coach Mike Boswick. It's always great to see. I think he understands how big, supporting athletes, students supporting big a play this is for Huzik Valley. It could really put the game out of reach, make it a four score game. From the golf team. Like you said, you know, you know they can kick the extra point. This is pretty much an extra point. I think all those fall sports, their regular seasons are over, so congratulations to all of them. Actually, let's see who we do have in the house. Girls soccer. Boys soccer. <laughs> Golf. There he is. Uh, who else? Uh, basketball. Girls basketball. Boys basketball. Softball. Baseball. Track and field. Equestrian. I'm a pool. Here's three sports, basketball, baseball, football. 7.29 to go here now in this third quarter. Fourth and goal from the Lee three-yard line. Hard count. Fourth and goal. Hard count. Go with the hard count. Yeah. And it's going to be a pass over the middle. It's complete oh, to Valois. Touchdown, Kobe Valois. Kobe Valois. Flag on the play. From the tight end position, but there's a flag. We'll see what hap what the call is here. I think there were too many men in motion. To be honest with you, Don. I think they're going to call this back, but I don't know. No. No. It's against Lee. And it was an offsides call, and they'll decline that. And the touchdown will stand as... Mesoir to Valois for three yards for the touchdown. And that's going to make the score. Who's it? 34 and so Lee 7. Darren, I do believe that was Who's first pass of the game. Yep, score. Touchdown, right? Yep. So Who's Valley leads it here 34 to 7 with 7.23 to go. In the third quarter. And Mesoir. Pass into the flats. It's complete for the two-point conversion to Sean Kastner. 723 left in the third quarter. Who's it going 36? 37. So the score now is Hoosick Valley 36 and Lee 7 with 7.23 to go here in this third quarter. Well, impressive drive and the last two plays were passes. I think the first two passes of the game for Hoosick. And I think that was... Valois's first receiving touchdown this year. And Suzuki Valley has really dominated here in this one this afternoon. Coach Thompson is getting on the A little forward here. I think Kuzik has a quick turnaround. I think I think this is the week they play Thursday night against Commerce, and I'm that, not sure who Lee. Ends yeah, the I don't know. Off. I'll have to. We can check that who Lee has left on his schedule 
who's the value? As you said, Don, they're going to play Commerce, and you're saying that's a Thursday night game. I thought uh, that was a quick turnaround. That would be the 28th of October. Okay. And then they get into the playoffs uh, the following week, so two weeks from today. Music Valley will be in the playoffs, and almost assuredly, I'm, I'm assuming if they can, looks like they're going to win here this afternoon. They're going to end up with a home playoff game with a, with a team yet to be determined. Right now, they stand atop the Division Eight standings. Yeah. Winston picks up that kick, and he'll... Cut it to the outside. Get some room. Some running room, and he'll bring it back to about the 43-yard line of lead. Nice, yards. nice return there Wildcats by Elliot Winston. Tackled by Nick Pond. And so it looks like uh, now that's the first game. That's the They're going to finish, uh, Lee will finish with Belchertown next week. So they play Belchertown. And Bartini in motion. Option left. Option kept by Shook. He's going to cut it up. Nice run. Yeah, that's a nice run for the senior quarterback, Aiden Shook. Shook, and he's going to pick up. Good for five yards, tackled by... About six yards on the on the carry across midfield. They're into Hoosick Valley territory. And this is the first time, I think, Don, since the first possession, they've been in Hoosick Valley territory. And, of course, Hoosick... And you're right, Don. Hoosick will play Commerce away uh, on Thursday night, October 28th at 6 o'clock from Springfield. Our statistician... Nick Moore running down the schedules for both these teams. He's having a good game today. Yes, he is. His debut. <laughs> He's a natural. And there is Winston. He's stacked up right at the Winston line of scrimmage. No Not much there. The uh, li linebackers were right there. Yep. It's tough to get to him when you got you got the big men up in front. Malloy and Liebenau up front there. They are tough. Maybe a yard. Linebackers. Third down and four. The uh, Moochie brothers in there as well. This is not a deep team for Ozik, but they're talented. See, speed and size. That's so it brings down a third down, third and three for Lee. Trying to get something going here with 538 to go in the third quarter. And that's Freeman in motion. Green. Swing pass to Freeman, and a pass is incomplete. Pass incomplete. Throwing a little low there. That's water in the area. Fourth down and three. That's <laughs> also doing a little landscaping, <laughs> aside from quarterback play. And now we're going to have Bartini. Looks like he's going to now come in at the quarterback position with a fourth down and three for Lee. Option. And you're right, Nick. Option play there Bartini by Bartini, and he's going to have an up for the first down, and Lee will get a new set of downs as they're down to the Hoosick Valley 44-yard line. And he's speedy back there, Don. Bartini has some good wheels. Yeah, we said beginning of the game that uh, from what we saw, Shook looked like the throwing quarterback, and Bartini more of the runner. Um, nice play there. Picked up five, and it's first down, I think it's... First first down in quite a while. Since the since really the first quarter. Three, 
Option. And the option play. Bartini's going to cut it up, and he's stacked up Bartini on again. the play. First by Trumbull. And the toast of Hurricanes there. Malloy. But it was Blake Trumbull Malloy's. from his linebacking position coming up quickly there. He's, he's having a great game on both sides of the ball. Obviously, center of this offense. Um, and this offensive line is controlling the game. And then he's made some big plays on that defensive side as well at the middle linebacker position. Trumbull, a senior. And he's got an interception today as well in the closing moments of that first half. So it's a second and seven now for Lee. With 3.50 to go here in this third quarter and the clock continuing to run. Who's the guy in command here? 37 to, 36 to seven over the Lee Wildcats. And the give up the middle. And that is to Elliot Winston. He just tripped up by Trumbull again. And they, whose defense done a good job um, slowing him down. Again, if you remember, he was he was the big weapon in that first series. Went for about 45 yards. A chamber of commerce, beautiful Berkshire County day. Third and four for Lee. They're in four down territory at this point. The ball marked at the Hoosick Valley 33-yard line. They need to get to the 29 for the first down. And the pitch is wide to Winston. He's going to take it over that left side. He's got running room, and he's going to have it up for the first down. Inside the 30-yard line. Nice straight little drive going here by Lee. Yeah, a couple first downs. They're sitting there inside the, uh, on the 30-yard line. And they'll spot it at the 29-yard line. Another first down for the Wildcats. The, Wildcats from the, parking 29. the best drive of the game since their first drive back in the first quarter. And shook at quarterback. Back to pass. He's got time. Fires it into the flat to Good Bartini. Coverage. And the pass Shook's is, is complete com to, to complete Bartini down at the 25. Pick up of four yards on the pass play. He throws a nice six. ball at that. He does. That's a tough throw. I mean, he's he's throwing across the field on and out. It's a uh, got some distance to it. Good coverage there by Mezwar, holding him to a four-yard gain. Second and six. Yeah, they're unbalanced left on this time. Bartini oh, on his movement motion. there. And they're going to call that play dead. It'll be illegal procedure against Lee. And that'll be a five-yard penalty. We'll push them back five yards. So we'll Lee, Lee's gone first unbalanced first last game. couple times. Second down. And running a quick uh, pitch there. So it makes it a second and 11. And for Husek, looks like he got, he got Josh Wazlowski in for Husek at the D tackle position. Yeah, for he replaces John Liebenau. Play a game of the Wildcats, pushing back another five. Second down and 16. He's seeing his first action of the day. And Liebenau. 
Offensive tackle, defensive tackle is getting a breather on the sideline for Husek. So you're unbalanced left again. And Shook looks downfield and wants to throw oh, it to nice the flat. Catch. It's complete. Good catch is right. That pass was caught by Dylan Eli. That wall was thrown a little bit behind him. He was able to reach back and catch it. Third down. Now it picks, up, picks up five on the play. Will also be the last play. And that is going to close out this third quarter of play here at Hoosick Valley. And the score after three is Hoosick Valley 36 and Lee 7. But that's a nice little drive that... Uh, Lee had going there, yeah. Don, both running and passing. Yeah, they gotta, you know, they gotta build on some momentum for next week. Uh, you know, looks a little too late right now, but they gotta come back next week and get a big win um, to solidify their shot at the playoffs here. about ready to begin fourth quarter action here at Hoosick Valley. The Hurricanes in control of this one. 36 to 7. Tim Moore alongside of Don Wright and our statistician Nick Morey. Third. Third and 10 for Lee. Freeman in motion. Shook back to pass. He's, He's got somebody line. outside. On the outside, that pass is caught. And it's going to go for a touchdown to Dylan Ely. Touchdown. Number 15. Dylan. It looks like broken coverage over on that side. 30 line. yard touchdown pass for. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is Dylan Ely. Hayden Shook to Dylan Ely. Thank you very much. Lee now makes the score. Hoosick Valley 36 and Lee 13. And he was wide open, Don. He was. I'm not sure if it was broken covers or the uh, corner might have fell down there. But he was, he was wide open. No one within 10 yards of him. <clears throat> Shook located him down that right sideline. And it was good for the 30-yard touchdown. Lee now go for two here. They trail 36-13, so. He's got, got number Ball seven. into the flat to Bartini. He catches nice it, and he gets in. Beautiful so play there is complete. by Tyler Bartini. Tyler Bartini on the other end. On the catch, and nice play there by Bartini to get over there in the corner so for the two-point conversion. Quarter. So. The score now is Hoosick Valley 36 and Lee 15. And that was really a nice drive for Lee. They can take away something from that one, Don. Absolutely. Great drive. Uh, good portion of the third quarter and start this fourth quarter. And uh, now let's see how their defense can respond. See if they can give them a life here. And we want to take a moment to thank Northern Berkshire Community Television for the broadcast of today's high school football action between Lee and Hoosick Valley. We want to also thank our cameraman and producer director, Ryan Pousey. Filling in here today, doing a great job filling in for the inimitable Peter Gentile. 
We really want to thank Ryan for his help here today. And there's the kick. It's going to be covered up at the 35-yard line by Husik Valley. It was um, Mo uh, Griffin Mucci for the recovery. Yes, it is. Griffin Mucci. Takes the Wildcat kick and falls on it at the 35-yard line. First and 10 Hurricanes. So that's where Husik Valley will take over. First and 10 with 11.47 to go here in this ball game. <coughs> Nice crowd on hand here today. Beautiful afternoon for football. Six man front this time. And a pitch is wide to Bush. And toss to Aaron Bush, good for a few. Brought down brings by down great Sean Kinney. Three yard gain for Bush. Uh, Kinney on the tackle for Lee. It's a second down and seven. So this stable of Hoosick Valley running backs, Bush, Kastner, Carson Meswar, quarterback, and Frank Field done very, very nice job here this afternoon running behind an outstanding offensive line here for Hoosick Valley. And the give this time again to Kastner, who's going to run it down inside the 50-yard line, down to the 49, where he's knocked out of bounds for Wizzick Valley, and he's had a fabulous day. According to our statistician, Nick Morey, he's over 200 yards rushing. That's good for Wizzick Valley for his down. And they're having great success between those tackles. Yes, they have. That line up front, Valois. Malloy, Libanow, Mucci, among others, have done a great job. And Husik Bay has also run unbalanced a lot. Here it is right here. I do believe. Unbalanced to the right. And a give to Bush. And he's nice stacked up job. in the middle there. He picked up a couple yards, but it's like 62. he was met in the middle there by Aaron 50. Bush, by Look at McGuire, Rusa. Second down and seven. And Hoosick Valley content to run the clock here. They lead it 36 to 15. Been pretty much all their way since that first lead possession where Lee marched right down the field and scored a quick touchdown against Hoosick Valley, but Hoosick Valley's had the better of it since. Miss handoff there. That's to Bush. He's going to be tackled for a lot of loss. He was met on the inside there by number 69 for Lee, Luke Roach, the junior for Lee. What a loss on that play. Brings up a third down and nine. Yeah, well, Lee's, their adjustment this, this quarter was to go to the six man front and get a little more penetration with that. Back to a 50 here. Okay, Meswar fades back to pass. He's looking down on the sideline. His pass intended for Frank Field. Going a little high. So it brings up a third and nine. And he was hit as he delivered that pass. He had Field open there down the sideline. It a little high, so brings up now fourth down situation. I believe it was Sean Kinney made him. There have been many situations. He it to. looks like Mesuar is in a punting formation. And he's going to get away a high booming kick. That will go into the end zone and it'll be a touchback. Nice a beautiful punt, putt there. Bye. It'll be a touchback. Carson Meswar. Well, good response from Lee here. They came out, they had a nice drive to end the third quarter, and uh, then they got a, a stop defensively. So give their offense a little bit of life. 
and start building on stuff for next week. Get no momentum going again. Like I said, they had the heartbreaking loss last week, and they came out firing on offense that first series, and then Uzik had the answer for him. 9 16 to go in this ball game. Freeman in motion. Give us to the up back. Like Malloy and, or, uh, I'm That's sorry, Winston. Leaving Owen on that one. Yeah, straight ahead. Winston gains two yards, two yards on the play. Well, Don, if this result holds, more likely than not, we're going to be back here in a couple weeks in the Division Eight state tournament playoffs and against an opponent yet to be determined. Correct, and it could be a team from the eastern part of the state. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Okay, shook back to pass. Oh, he looks out. underneath, and he's got the pass is pass complete, complete. In, into the flats by there Sean by Sean to Sean down Kinney. First down, Wildcats. And that's enough for a first down. Lee has moved the ball pretty well here in the second yeah. half, Don. Yeah, they're having some success throwing the ball. They're giving their quarterback a little bit of time. And, uh, I mean, the running game is is been a little bit stalled. But, yeah, they've had some success with the pass. Fumble. Fumble in the backfield. Picked up on the play. And rumbling into the end zone is Jake Bucci for the touchdown. Johnny on the spot was Bucci. There was a fumble in that backfield. And Bucci right there to pick it up and scamper in for the touchdown. Senior lineman on senior day can't ask for anything better than that. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Every every lineman's dream, yes, right? Absolutely. Not only to pick up the fumble, but have nobody in front of you. And no one chasing you. And no one chasing you either. Hank Mochi with the touchdown. And going to go for the extra point here, Harrington. With 8.07 to go in this ball game. Good snap. Oh. And the kick is hit off the helmet and picked up. That kick is no good. And so no that's going to leave the score. Hoosick Valley 42 and Lee 15. And boy, just as Lee that was. Starting to build some momentum, doing some things well offensively. You have a turnover like that, and the tide switches right back to Hoosick Valley. That was a, uh, looked like a jet sweep, and uh, just they uh, didn't get a good handoff there. And going forward here, see if I uh, can't really say Hoosick can empty their bench. There's. Only about seven of them on there, but. This the only heated press box in Russia County. Give us that money here. I'm telling you, we're loaded. Give us, give us that money here. Yeah. Absolutely. Tax in the economy. I'm always too. Massage chairs in all the classrooms. Right. Yeah. Uh. That's why the football team is so good. We'll have to get a booster shot every year. I listen to these doctors. I got my regular flu shot the other day. You know, it's free, too. That's killed the people that want to get it. It's free. And they cost you nothing. And a kick. It cost you nothing. Uh-oh. Freeman will pick it up at the 15-yard line. And he'll get it back 
to around the 25 yard line. Nice effort there by Freeman for Ian Freeman, 10 yards in the Lee, and that's where Lee will take over. And, you know, the kicking game has been huge for Hoosick today. Yeah, it has. They've really been able to keep Lee pinned back deep. I remember that first series, they started off around the 45, and since then they've been back somewhere around the 25 on many of their uh, drives. All right, give a quick hitter. That is to Winston. Winston's going to have a nice gain of about In this direction to Winston. 12 yards. Pick up That's enough for a first down. first down. Oh, yeah, Winston. And running-wise, that's where they had their success, right up the gut with, with Winston. And... Carson Meswar checks out of the game for Hoosick Valley. Swing pass by Shook. He's got Bartini in the flat, and Bartini ahead for about four yards. Complete to Tyler Bartini. The tackle there is. Uh, Second down. Freshman Makai Witted. Yep. Makai Witted into the game. Counting. Nicholas Poppy also into the game for Hoosick Valley. In a defensive line position. So Coach Boswick going to his bench here a little bit, trying to get some rest for his starters and some experience for his reserves. And shook back the pass. Pumps it and throws it to the flat, and it's nice knocked coverage. away by Meswar. And they're going to be a flag on the play. We'll see what this is. This could be defensive. I mean, I'm sorry, it could be on the offense here. And if, if it is, it was a good play if it was on the offense because it looked like Meswar was positioned here and intercept that. No. Nope. It's going to go against the defense. Holding, they'll mark that off. And it'll be marked off down to the Fusick 44 yard line. So once again, Lee on the move. Penalty will give the Wildcats a first down. Shook back to pass. Oh. Is it a flat? Oh, caught there on the outside by number 89 for Lee. That's uh, Mason Millick. And that was a well thrown ball. He throws that any softer, any further inside, that thing's a pick six. That was a great throw. Look at Frank Field had a beat on it, but. Yes, he did. Is that, is that Millick or Milik? This is Milik. Okay. Want to get the names correct? We're getting them from the Lee fans. Second down. Give is up the middle. Yeah. Pick up of about three yards by Winston. He's going to be about a half yard short. Trumbull on the tackle for Ozick Valley. Third down and one. Third and one for Lee here. 5.30 to go in this ball game. Wizzick Valley on top, 42-15. And give. Shook into the flat. He's got Mullick again. In the flat, that pass is complete down to the 24-yard line. Nice throw there by Shook. And it's another first down for Lee. As Lee now mixing it up on offense, and they've had some success here in the second half. 
And it'll be another first down for the Wildcats. It'll be first and 10 from the Hoosick Valley 25 yard line. Malik knocked out of bounds, stopping the clock. He's a big target. Yes, he is. Malik, the senior, he's about 6'3". Good size. There's a fake to the flat. And Shook throws it up for grabs, and that's going to be picked off there. Number 12, Caleb yep. Harrington. Caleb Harrington on the interception. Howie yeah, ill-advised to throw that pass. It looked like he got hit as he released it. And, uh, so the ball will turn over to Hoosick Valley. Their second interception of the day. And it will be first and ten. That's a third interception, sorry. Our assistant statistician. <laughs> Time out on the field. Time out on the field with 4.55 to go here. And Hoosick Valley in control. And again, Don, we talked several times this season about this. This Hoosick Valley team now, they're going to most likely continue in the number one position after this week. And they're positioned well going into the playoffs. If they can run the table here, it's only an issue really of staying healthy. Right. And I, I don't know how this will affect their their PowerPoints, I guess. Uh, I mean, this is Lee, now we Lee's a fellow Did Division 8 school, and they're going to get their quality I win over them today. But okay. um, Simple answer. Simple I, would, answer. I would think that this would be a, a, a positive on the uh, standings for them. Um, <laughs> and on the college football front, uh, college game day, one of your favorites, uh, Bill Walton. <laughs> UCLA and Oregon tonight. He he picked the Bruins to beat Oregon. Well, it looks like I'm in for a long night then. As did Lee Corso, <laughs> I might add. He put on the Bruin hat. All right, first and ten now for Hoosick Valley here, with 4:55 to go in this ball game. We'll go on balance line again on the right side. And they run on balance and some good running room there for Bush, who's had also had a big game here for Freeman on the tackle. First down hurricane. For Uzik Valley. He picks up eleven yards on the play. Nice run for the senior, Aaron Bush. And that's a first and ten for Hoosick Valley. Clock continuing to run here as we approach four minutes to go in this ball game. And Hoosick Valley on top, 42-15. Again, in an eye backfield, unbalanced right. And again. And Bush again. Bush will pick up a couple yards on the carry. Second down and eight. Brings up a second and eight for Uzik Valley. They're content to run the ball and keep the clock moving here. As we're under four minutes to go in this ball game. And it's been a solid performance all the way around for Uzik Valley. And these two teams, Lee and Hoosick Valley, as Don said earlier in the season, they've had some dust-ups over the recent past. And give on the outside. That's to Harrington. Give us to Caleb Harrington. His, his first, first carry of the day. And Harrington down in six. Make, picks up maybe a yard on Coming the carry. Three minutes to play. Does not look like this is going to go Lee's way, but they still have a lot to play for. We want to wish you all the best of luck and a safe trip home. 
And thank you all for coming to today's game and helping me with my pronunciation. And the give again to Harrington. And he's going to go up over that right side. Again. And he's, he's got it. If you, the, the spot he right. does. It looks like the spot's going to give him the first down. That will be enough. So it's on a first down for Uzik Bally. He'll Uzzi spot Bally. the ball at, at the 30 yard line of Uzik Valley. And I got to tell you, Don, uh, I was impressed uh, on the defensive side. Blake Trumbull had a great game for Hoosick Valley. Yeah, uh, Hoosick really settled down after that first series. And, and uh, like you said, middle linebacker uh, Blake Trumbull had a great game for him. Aaron Bush. That first by Alex Del Vecchio. Bush on the carry. On the tackle, it, it was Freeman. For Lee. Second down and six. Well, this is one of those games. Lee's got to bounce back and, and come after Belchertown, get ready for them, and uh, and, and just kind of put this one behind them. Um, I think there's a very strong possibility we'll be back here in a couple weeks in the MIAA State Playoff Tournament. And give up the middle, nothing there. Big surge there by Lee. Number 30 on the play was Dylan Trump's. Give us the Frank Field. No gain on For Huzik, you got freshman Will Hakes in there, number five. Yes. Bring up third down and six. One minute yep. to go. One minute. Always a pleasure. Always. And we're under a minute to go here. Who's in Valley in no hurry? They're going to. Yeah, well, you have to run another play. Yes, they do. And it'll the ball be a... stacked up, and I think that's going to do it. Frank Field again. Oh, uh, timeout on the field. Oh, salty language. Good flag. Now we get a flag play. down. 25 seconds. Dead ball foul. Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike, Unsportsmanlike against Usyk Valley. Valley. So they'll mark it off 15 foul. yards. And Usyk Valley comes away with a well deserved victory here. See, today at Usyk Valley. <laughs> 42 to 15 over Lee here. Well, they really dominated up front after that first series. And, uh, you know, we talk offense, defense all the time, but I thought that kicking game for Huzik was huge today, uh, pinning Lee back numerous times. Yeah, the kicking game was strong, the defense, it's, but the, the offense, Lee is going to have to find some so answers. For well, that, if these two teams meet again, yep. Yep. Have to run another play. Right. and I think they're going to let the clock like run out here. They won't. In an impressive victory here for Lee score. between these two Division Eight squads. They may meet again in the playoffs. We don't know. But Huzik Valley has the victory, 42 to 15, over the Lee Wildcats. And it was an all Hoosick Valley. After that opening drive by Lee, Hoosick Valley down, dominated the Absolutely. ball on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Absolutely, yeah. They uh, they came right out, answered to get punched in the face, and uh, absolutely took over this game up front. Great job, both sides of the ball. Yes, it was. We have our... I don't know if we can have some closing stats here. We'll go back to Nick Morey. Nick, uh, can you wrap up the stats for us? Um, basically, uh, it just went to uh, second string. 
they saw Aaron Bush run for 50 yards, and we saw Vavolis with a, his first receiving touchdown, and Griffin Mucci had a nice fumble recovery for a touchdown. Um, and then in the second half for Lee, Hayden Soik went for 73 passing yards and a touchdown. So they went more passing than running in the second half. Okay, thanks, Nick. That's going to wrap it up for us here at Hoosick Valley. For Don Wright, our statistician, Nick Mori, I'm Tim Mori. The final score here at Hoosick Valley, it was Hoosick 42 and Lee 15. We'll see you in a couple weeks in the Division 8 MIAA state playoffs.